Honda jumped into the midsize SUV segment in 2002 when it launched the Pilot. With seating for eight, it offered buyers a car-like driving experience and better gas mileage than truck-based utilities. For 2009, Honda has overhauled the popular people hauler. Building on the strengths of the original, the company added more power, more features, and more miles per gallon. But in the design department, Honda seems to have taken more inspiration from Maytag than Maserati. The Pilot is very appliance-like in appearance. That's not to say it's unattractive, it's just very square and boxy. The shape does have its advantages, though. There's more cargo volume inside than a Ford Explorer or a Chevy Trailblazer. Along with the updated exterior, Honda did some redecorating inside. The new design theme is a lot swoopier than last year's. The gear shift has been moved from the column to the dashboard, and the air vents are now round. There's also a prominent shelf above the glove box. It's perfect for storing small items that are frequently used. For power, Honda is still putting its familiar 3.5-liter V6 under the hood. It sees duty in everything, from the Ridgeline pickup to the luxurious Acura RL. In the Pilot, it now delivers more power running on regular gas, 250 horsepower, and 253 pound-feet of torque. Even though many V6s today have more horsepower, this one's smooth and gives the Pilot plenty of acceleration. It even features Honda's latest version of variable cylinder management. Depending on engine load, it can run on three, four, or six cylinders. This helps the Pilot deliver up to 23 miles per gallon on the highway. Working with the engine is a slick shifting five-speed automatic transmission. It's so smooth, you almost can't feel it shifting. While most car-based crossovers never go off-road, the Pilot is surprisingly capable on the trail. With available all-wheel drive and good approach and departure angles, it'll handle moderate off-roading without breaking a sweat. Honda really emphasized refinement with the new Pilot. They wanted to make it comfortable, practical, and easy for families. From HVAC to the navigation system, all the controls are straightforward and intuitive. The seats are extremely comfortable and the ride is very smooth. Honda calls the whole package practical luxury. Unfortunately, luxury is rarely cheap and the 2009 Pilot is the most expensive Honda ever built. It can top $40,000 when the options are piled on. But luckily, base models start at a more affordable $28,000 which is right in line with other large crossovers like the GMC Acadia and Toyota Highlander. But with gas hovering around $4 a gallon and no relief in sight, the 2009 Pilot and its competition may just be too much too late.